Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy Kuro back with a brand new video and today I want to talk about Demon Slayer Hinokami Kaputai trailers coming next. So without that being said, we ain't gonna waste no time. Let's get it. Come on baby, you know that I'm back and you I had to get a Louis on bag or two. I've been paying attention to the Demon Slayer Hinokami Kaputan trailers that's been coming out and surprisingly they've been coming out in a chronological order format. So I got the idea to do a prediction of what Demon Slayer Hinokami Kaputan character trailers we can most likely expect next. I already did a Demon Slayer Hinokami Kaputan full roster prediction so if you haven't watched it go check that out because that's what I'm going to be going off of. The only thing is I will be adding a additional character to the prediction so with that being said let's get into it so right out the makimo the first demon that will most likely be announced is the swamp demon the reason i say this is because the swamp demon fight was the most distinguishable to me now i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking what about the hand demon well, I'm glad you asked, bro. The hand demon won't be the first demon to be announced because I feel as though he won't even make it into the game, bro, because of his character design. Moving on to the next two demons that we can most likely expect, Yashiro and Tamayo. Both of these characters should be announced right after the Swamp Demon. So now that I mentioned the last two demons, you already know what's coming next. Susamaru and Yahaba. The next demon that you can expect to be announced is Kayuga. Kayuga will have an interesting playing style because I'm not sure exactly how they're going to implement that into the game, but I definitely feel like he will actually like make it into the game and stuff. If anybody can pull it off, it's definitely Cyber Connect 2. Moving on to the next two is the Spider Demon Mother and the Spider Demon Father. Now you're probably asking like, you know, like what type of playing style are they gonna have in the game? I can definitely see the Spider Demon Mother being like a puppet master, like in Storm 4, like Sasari. So I can definitely uh seeing her taking that play style, taking after that play style with the uh, spider webs that she be using with her hands and stuff like that. And as far as the spider father i'm not gonna lie um at first i did not think that he would actually make my cut but honestly looking at storm Fort references and stuff like that i mean come on bro they added momo shiki then then my guy Biggie shit. My boy Rui. Yes, sir. I feel like I don't know. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people would play this character though, but definitely he's gonna make the cut in the game and obviously in following the chronological order, he's gonna be announced right after the spider demon mother and father. We coming back to some harasses, Shinobu and Kano is going to be announced right after Rui. Rin Goku is being announced right after Kano. We get a glimpse of him towards the end of the anime, but we also have gotten a chance to actually see the Demon Slayer Mugen Train movie. Now, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to spoil you or anything like that. So, um, I'm going to just leave it at that. So, you know, the next character that's coming is Agaza. Again, spoiler territory. I'm not going to say anything, but just know Agaza is going to be announced too as well. You guys let me know if you agree with my prediction of character trailers that's going to be announced. I'm out. Yeah. yeah. It's touching bodies, touching Yeah, yeah.